This chemical can be found in peanuts. Dark chocolate has it as well. Blueberries are a good source, but it's best known for being in red wine and the skin of red grapes. No, don't focus. In the lab, researchers at MU are bathing cancer tumors in high concentrations of resveratrol. Some of the benefits are already well known. Others have previously shown that when prostate cancer is exposed to resveratrol, that the resveratrol can kill those cells. It, it speeds up part of the natural death process of the, of the cancer cells. It also slows down the growth of the cancer cell. But now Dr. Nickel is pairing the chemical with radiation to increase the effectiveness. There are already chemotherapy agents used in the same way, but they have drawbacks. We're hoping uh, resveratrol may prove to be an agent that we can use to boost the radiation effect and maybe have less side effects than some of the harsh chemotherapies that are available now. The combination is showing promise with prostate cancer, melanoma, colon and ovarian cancers grown in the lab. The next step is testing the one-two punch of resveratrol and radiation in mice with cancer tumors. That should help doctors learn how much of the chemical to use and how to give it. One of the issues is how do we dose it? How, how, do, we give, how do we give it to people? Do they drink wine? Do they drink grape juice? Do we give it to them as a pill? Do we make a formulation that goes in the IV? Or is it something that we shoot directly into the tumor? Nickel says getting a treatment from the lab to the patient can take a decade or longer, and each step of the work will require more funding.